Mike went down to Bishop and we actually were able to find a belt. Not the right belt, but it's gonna work. We bypassed the air compressor or the air conditioning line because that was locked up, so. We don't really need air conditioning up here, so I may not ever put that back on, but all I know is I got my loader up and running. We're gonna take him to our job and start pushing some snow. Loader pulling up. A lot of neighborhoods look just like this, you know, that it's just like a tunnel coming down through here. So we got tunnels everywhere that we're building. I just saw Owen right here. I thought he was still here. Did I miss him? Oh, he's right there, okay. Over here, uh, can you come over here real quick? Huh? I wanna show you this over here. And then we gotta get over to Crystal Villa as quick as possible, there's like, everybody's stuck over there. Yeah, I, I forgot to do 31 Evergreen, so we will run back up there real quick Nice too. hat, bro. Yeah, I know, right? You wanna talk about a roof. Actually, she told me she wanted us to come over here and clear this roof. Um, next week but if if we can yeah read your text man so here what you're gonna do in here you get in here and you literally come in and you're just gonna go up and down and then inch forward up and down Where am I gonna an inch forward all? huh Where am i gonna shoot it all that way and then back over there in that corner so you can throw it up here as much as you can and then once you get a little further down, you're gonna go over that way with it. And you can go all the way to that building. You can be two feet from that building. So they can't even get in their apartment. I mean, this is their... Got stuck, huh? Yeah, I think they put this berm up to keep people from going back here. Well, I tried to help them, but they didn't seem too talkative, so... This guy right here, Owen Atwood, master operator. Got himself in a pickle, it looks like. So, of course, he's got to call dad to the rescue. I don't know if I'll be able to drag you out. I'll try. Get out, get over here and hook me up right here. All right, well, let me see how close I can get. So he's kind of angled in here like that, which is kind of going to be a trick to get him out. So I put the shackle over there on that corner. And then what I'm going to try to do, it's not really a bouncy setup, but I'm just going to try to bounce on him a little bit. Hopefully not snap that strap and uh, see if we can get him to move. Machine, and I'm going to raise up, raise up your uh, like four feet. I want it up high because you you got a lot of snow right here. You'll feel me. You'll feel it. All right, so we're... Like literally just enough room to get the Jeep in here. I'm hoping it'll pull him out. We'll see what happens. Ugh. He's got that up. Boy, that, that wall collapsed. Really buried him in there. Let's see, if, let's see if I can do this without snapping this rope. One more time. Definitely getting them straightened out, so. Oh, broke the rope. All right, I have to get something else. So I went home and I got the, the bouncy rope. And I think I can give them a, a lot harder pull with that. Somebody needs to call Heavy D, Sparks, or Matt's Recovery for me and see if they'll come up to Mammoth and help me do some recoveries. But until we get some help from them, we're gonna see if we can get them out on our own. All right, I'm gonna get it tight and then I'm gonna come forward and give it a real good, a real healthy pull. So here we go. Oh, almost. Okay. I think we're gonna get it. We're gonna give her a good one this time. We'll either pull the front bumper off or get it out. Oh, baby. Got her. All right, we just arrived at Cinnamon Bear Inn. 
Well, Mike, he's turning out to be quite the hand in the loader. So I, he's got me stuck over here in the skidster now. I'm not. I'm off loader loader duty. I got Mike up here running the loader. So I'm gonna help him out with this parking lot. Try to backtrack some of this stuff out for him. I'm just gonna bucket it out for him. Start throwing it to him. See if we can work as a team over here. Good old cinnamon bear. We're pushing this place in. I'm I'm feeding it. He's running it down the chute. It's working out pretty good right now. Just gotta keep pushing that snow down through there. That's our storage area where he's at right there. All the way to the back, back there. Kind of see where he's piling it way back there. Yeah. Just another day in paradise. Getting stuff done. I'm gonna go over here and finish out this over here. Get that over to him. Shuttle it over to him so he can run it down the chute. All right, boys and girls. Got this one all kind of polished out. Got a little bit left to do, but she's looking pretty good. Quite a bit of snow in here. And uh, now I got Mike over here running the chute. Pushed a whole bunch over here. We cleared this whole thing too. It was all about 10 or 10, 15 foot high. This loader does work. Straight does work. Mike's pretty much uh, second day operating the loader he's really picked it up he's doing great hell i might not even want to get back in that thing after this but uh we're looking pretty good over here we're gonna cut this up a little more square and after that we're gonna get on to the next one all right so i'm in the parking lot uh well i'm in the parking garage i should say of quality here and uh I mean, this entryway was just so jacked up. So we're, I'm having him back drag it out. See if we can back drag it out and uh, at least get it to where people can get in and out. I'll try to widen it out a bit too. Well, we called about 30 minutes ago and let everybody know. Everybody cleared the whole parking lot. Except for this one person. And now, boy, she's taking her sweet time. I mean, we have about a million places to be right now and no extra time to waste on sitting around at jobs. <laughs> oh, people, please, you gotta understand. You know, when, when we call ahead and tell everybody to get their cars out, that means we say we're going to be there at 3.30, we're going to be there at 3.30. So you got to have your car out because guess what? We have 80 other 80 other places we got to be right now. And I don't know if she's stuck or what, but maybe Michael, see if he'll push a little bit out from in front of her. But I haven't seen her wheels even try to move, so I don't know what's going on. But it sure is... Uh, costing us a little bit of time right here all right i think we figured out why she can't get it on the breathalyzer is not working and it won't let her drive <laughs> uh, right on hopefully uh she's not drunk maybe one of us needs to go over there and blow in it for her well we're uh we're still waiting on the on the breathalyzer Show it, hold it up. Yeah, it's not working, so. Breathalyzer problems. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna be stuck here for a minute until that thing can get out of our way. Get over here to Tennis Village. I'm gonna show Mike what we gotta do here. So, we got these lower parking spots here. There's like one, two, three. Usually I'll just bucket these. I'll just, I'll scoop them and I'll, and I'll, I'll get up there where it's, and I'll dump up there. And then starting about right here, I just come in and cut, start pushing up. Basically one bucket wide is fine. 
And uh So you put push up through here, turn, and then this is where it gets a little tricky. Oh, this stuff is heavy. So here's my snow storage that they've screwed up again. So the first thing you'll need to do before you do any of this is come up in here and start working this back. You can go back that way, and then you can also go back that way, but we need to create some more room here. <laughs> So, don't worry about this. Talk about some of the challenges that we deal with here. This, this little complex is so tight. You can't hardly fit a loader in here. So, uh, and then obviously like we're out of snow storage. Almost the end of the day here, starting to get dark. We're gonna follow Mike on up to Tennis Village. And we're gonna do another one up here. And I think me and old Mike are gonna call it a night. We're probably gonna go ahead and uh, go get something to eat and maybe even have a beer or two so we can get a really good night's sleep because we are going to be at this again tomorrow at about 4 a.m., possibly earlier, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe, but we are going to be at it again. So anyways, I think that's about enough for this video here. Um, it's Sunday, late afternoon. Uh, like I said, it's probably, uh, well, it's close to 5 o'clock and we're getting a bunch of more weather coming in tonight so it's just going to be more snow removal come tomorrow and more of the same stuff hopefully we can keep all the equipment running mike's a pretty good hand when it comes to working on stuff welding now he's operating pretty much all around pretty good guy and uh he's one of my best friends so we've been really good friends for a long time I finally got him talked into coming up here and spending a couple weeks with me it's really hard to find good help up here you know um, I've got a really good team of guys um, but I'm always looking for you know more quality guys it's another early morning you can see there it's about 355 Getting out the door here. Mike's on his way over to meet the trucks. We're gonna start loading out trucks this morning, try to get another full day like we did yesterday. So let's we'll see how it goes. Morning guys. I think those are for our new hand crew. Just got here to the office a little bit after four. Got Mike going with the trucks. So we're gonna go check on him shortly. Here is our propane tank route. So those guys are gonna be here. Gonna go through that with them, get them going, and then keep going with my paperwork. Just see how it goes. Our, that's Brian, our spray guy, spraying off the beds.
darn cold out. Sun's gonna start coming out here pretty quick. We've been loading. There's Mike, he's got himself a big bike. Load these trucks out. We're not stacking up too bad. Keeping them going. How's it stick? Is it staying about three trucks, three, four trucks? Okay. So nobody's waiting around too long? No. Good. Right now I'm just waiting on Ed as well for the any beef. Yeah. Just waiting on him for that. And the right, so and Brian the here. He's uh he's just started working with us recently, but uh he's he's in charge of spraying the antifreeze in these trucks, the RV antifreeze that's approved by the town. So uh he hits these trucks about every other load just to make sure this snow doesn't stick. I'm hoping uh I can get a shot of that here shortly. We're gonna go back up on top and see if we can't get a good vantage point to see all of the trucks going in and out of the pit. Probably won't be able to actually go out to the pit uh, and film, but I would like to, but um, I'll find out if they'll let me, I'm gonna ask. We are back up on top. It's uh, just before sunrise here. So that's the snow pit and it's in operation now. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get a vantage point um, from the actual pit. It looks like it's not too busy right at this, right, right at this moment, but I've heard that we've had up to a thousand trucks a day uh, come through this pit. So it's, as you can see the that platform there just keeps getting larger and larger. It just keeps pushing out into that, into that, um, that flat there. Over this way, this is down towards Crowley Lake. So it's just really beautiful. Very quiet this morning, no wind, it's really cold. Can't wait for that sun to come out. But you can kind of see what's going on here um, over there that's that's old mammoth road so that's basically where you come in uh, there's a dirt road you kind of follow this down and then it leads you into this pit area where you'll turn around and back up to the edge and dump it off and then they they have a dozer out there and they'll just keep working it and working it um, and and this this I'll probably come film this in a week or so and we'll see how much bigger it got um, because I'm certain it's going to get a lot bigger. All right, guys, I am in the office working on a little paperwork here. The a hand crew just showed up, so I just gave them directions. You guys got the directions up to Shirstay. So, yeah, follow that. Head up to meet Ed. Ed's going to be up there. He'll show you guys where we're going to work at. Okay. All right. I'm going. Good luck today. I hope you guys have a good day out there. We're gonna Thanks, we're gonna get some propane tanks uncovered. We're gonna get some roofs cleared. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on, and a whole bunch of guys, and uh, just gonna get get some stuff done up here. So head on up there, and we'll see you guys up there. Okay. All right, so we got Ann and Jen. Um, they are actually up here doing a story about all the snow craziness that we're dealing with up here. And then we've got my right-hand man, Ed, over here. He's talking with Clayton. Clayton. Clayton, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. And uh, say hi to all our YouTube fans. How's it going, YouTube? So this is Plow Brothers. We're uh, we're up here helping Clayton with the roof on this on this uh, big A-frame up here. We need all the help we can get. Yeah. So he's explaining to Ed basically what's uh, what to do and uh we're gonna get these guys going and see if we can't uh maybe get a couple shots of them doing some work and uh and then we'll get on back down the hill so i hope you guys enjoy it wow. so as you can see these walls are well over 15 
feet high and uh just kind of cut a, cut they cut a path back here with the blower it looks like um get around the side of the building here and hopefully we'll be able to get over here we can see these guys up on the roof and see what they're up to getting that thing cleared and we'll go from there i was here removing it every day and it was crazy but yeah look at this look at this roof something else so i think the guys will be getting back up that way somewhere we might be able to see them we might not but you can you get an idea of of the the amount of snow so as you can see we've got a uh a little a device that they've come up with to get up onto the roof and then there's a uh <clears throat> there's a safety tie off once you get up on top they'll harness up to that and uh on the back side is where we were just at so that's where kind of where the bulk of the snow is so as you can see everybody's out enjoying their day got the snow cats rolling up there it's just a beautiful day out here folks i mean it really doesn't get much better than this this weather is just so prime unfortunately we're working today so we're going to be doing roof removal still but um hopefully one of these days we'll get caught up and we'll get to get out there so these guys are getting it done up on the roof that's for sure and uh, there's a lot to clear right there huge ice dams i mean these things are just so huge but uh these guys are moving they're all harnessed up and we're gonna start working this valley out get this whole valley cleared out get it all down we might come up here and bucket i'm not sure whatever they need we're gonna try and help them with